Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining me, Grand Theft Auto 5, as we try to solve the Chiliad mystery. I'm RJ. Special shout out to all the new members of the community. I know everybody's joined up with the whole alien crash site situation. There's been a lot of articles written, and there's a lot of videos made, so people are really getting into it. But at the same time, there's some confusion. Is the alien crash site hacked in there? Is it even possible to solve the Chiliad mystery? without modding it into the game of course that's all misinformation the truth is that that is just a taste of what's to come perhaps it is just in gta online for now but we know because of omega because of all the ufos and aliens found here in single player that something's going to happen here in the chiliad mystery that could finally be going down tomorrow on independence day we're going to start our live stream at 10 a.m eastern time so definitely join up set your alarm We'll be trying to blow up the UFO Independence Day style with the laser jet, both in single player. And of course, we'll be doing plenty of stuff in online mode, both on Xbox One and the PS4, guys. Hit the notification button. That'll let you guys know exactly when we start up. With Independence Day falling on a Tuesday this year, there's a good chance that Rockstar's going to have an update on that day. I do not think it's going to be UFO or alien themed. It's probably going to be all about the red, white, and blue. But what I expect is for the precursor to a future UFO or alien war to be in that update. It's probably going to be an online, so we'll be checking together, guys. Probably, you know, the UFO attack or the UFO crash, as we've seen. We have not had a UFO or even aliens in online yet, so that would be a first. That'd be pretty mind-blowing to see that for the first time as we hang out in the lobby together. But at the same time, with this update... They could definitely sneak something into single player. We'll check it out, guys. Join up for the live stream to find out live. In this episode, we're joining up with Gia Many of the French Chiliad Mystery Community. He's very, very knowledgeable, so we discussed a lot of the things that are going down right now. So much is happening, so let's talk to Gia Many and try to get our minds together as we focus on the July 4th situation. Let me know if you guys have any theories or any thoughts on the crashed UFO and even the UFOs that are in the skies here in San Andreas, they're floating for now. I think we're going to take them out. I don't know if we will have to trigger it. Really, like, some or some others, even that we want to see, like, the, the UFO on Monchiliad or some stuff like this. Maybe it's just something that they will they will add to the game, like, uh, the, 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 the continuing of the, the story mode. Like what's come next because as we said more than one time it should to come something yeah something is missing somewhere yeah something should to come again we saw also that the damn ship is also with some missile in the file if they are if they are together and when we see how the how the ufo is it's clear that the missile are gonna destruct it so I don't know if it's, it's going to be really a trigger point or if it's just going to be a, an ad, a cinematic that, that, that we, we have to see, you know what I mean? Maybe I can be wrong and it would be really great if we have to destroy it by yourself. That could be really, really amazing. But I guess it's going to be a kind of uh, cinematic and of course it should, have, it should have a trigger point for the cinematic when we see what what they done till now with the trigger point we were talking the last time about the the, the bigfoot and beast easter egg it's kind of crazy crazy trigger if they do the same or even harder for this one it's gonna be funny i guess it's just all about what's actually gonna trigger it um we do have to point out that the actual ufo was added in with the bunkers, the underground bunkers from the gun running update, and we don't actually have a reason for those bunkers. They gave them to us, and the agent talked about apocalypse-like scenarios. We've talked about possible meteors, aliens. There's definite reasons to have the bunkers, but nothing, nothing's ever been mentioned. It just seems to add up that they have this crashed UFO in there at the same time as the bunkers and you add it in with the missile i remember the missile it comes out of um i believe it's the new tanker you know one of the new vehicles so they're giving us the artillery hopefully to be able to take on these these ufos because as you mentioned to me there's no reason to have this stuff mm -hmm. you know what are we going to need a tank to go sell uh 
drugs or whatever in Los Santos. There's no need for that. So they have to be preparing us possibly for this event that's going to, of course, wreck the UFO. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Don't you think it has something to do with the bunkers and everything they're preparing us with? Of course. Of course it does. Of course. And and no matter what they are planning to do, no matter if it's a kind of alien invasion or something to do with the meteorite, it's going to be an apocalypse. In each way, we are we are they are po pointing to an apocalypse. And as you said, the Agent 40 is the first message that he, he said to you when he called you. I mean, today I... I was going in online just to check a bit, and as you know, I got banned, so my, my character is reset. And today, the first thing that I went in online, and immediately I, call, I got a call from Agent 14, and he said to me some stuff about Apocalypse and about the bunker to be a protection for Apocalypse. Yeah. I mean, like, what the fuck? I'm just coming in online, and you talk to me about Apocalypse and stuff. So it's they are clearly let us know that something is gonna come either aliens zombies or the meteorite weasel news could an asteroid hit earth next week a local woman found love from government spying apocalypse news scientists say the asteroid known as qc7 will be dangerously close to earth next week if a collision occurs, the 1.5 mile wide space rock would cause catastrophic damage and most certainly wipe out our species. Space rocks have tried to annihilate mankind before. 50,000 years ago, an asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs after a man foolishly listened to his woman and ate a piece of forbidden fruit. Scientists warn the asteroid will pass 20 million miles from Earth which they say is really, really close. Jeanette Adams says she is so glad the government has been collecting phone records and reading citizens' email and text messages. If it hadn't been for that, she might still be single. FIB agent Kenny Bryan contacted her out of the blue after reading her private email and postings on Life Invader. The couple are now engaged. Officials point to these kinds of heartwarming stories in defense of the much-publicized surveillance program. This was Weasel News. Um, I could kind of imagine, you know, we get the warning, so we have to go to our bunkers. That's when the meteorite's hitting. They tell us the meteorite's on the way to Earth. It hits, and either, I guess at that point, maybe somehow it causes the UFO crash, which would be right there at Fort Zancudo, as predicted by the data miners. So it spawns the crashed UFO, and then that's where the, the uh, alien egg comes into play. It would come from the UFO. Yeah. And if we mess with the, the alien egg or Omega, because I think Omega is going to come into play at some point. The fact that he says, I'll see you on the other side, it just reminds me a lot of the uh, the diamond mystery from Grand Theft Auto 4. How the game begins with the diamonds. It never tells us what's going on with the diamonds, but the final DLC ends out the diamonds. And that's pretty much what they're doing with Omega. They give us Omega. They never actually tell us what's going on with him. Why does he say... I'll see you on the other side, brother. He's going to come back along with the aliens. And my only guess is that he's going to have something to do with this alien egg. Because if they're saying that the alien egg is possibly going to be used, I just, I don't know. How the hell, where's that going to come into play? How the, what are we supposed to do with it? And, uh, yeah. Sounds like you think they're, it's not something that can be collected anyways. Yeah, is that what we, uh... I have to I have to say that we are talking since now, since now two and a half hour, and I am just recording since 15 minutes, so it's my fault. Yeah. You miss you people. You miss a lot, really a lot of <laughs> information and a lot of trippy dialogue. But yeah, my bad. <laughs> but we was no but we was already uh, already talking a bit about that just before, and we was even saying that. Uh, they're they're kind of planning everything since since a while. They're preparing us for a kind of uh, Omega character since since a while ago. Since with the truth in San Andreas, then with the, that dude in in Bully. I don't know. I don't remember his guy. name. And that guy even got abducted by by a UFO. Yeah. And, that, and that has really not even, nothing to do with Bully's story. 
they can they kind of add some sci-fi stuff in it because yeah the bully story is like is the story of a, a kind of bad guy in a in a school that you have nothing to do with aliens or sci-fi or but he's there little taste um, seems like rockstar likes to connect these games especially the rockstar games themselves i mean clearly we have john marston in gta 5 we have uh what's his name hopkins he's in gta 5 as as the bigfoot yeah you also have the hunter as you mentioned is in in one of our last video the hunter the from hunter. red dead redemption is there also so they bring it all together. That's why I'm really looking forward to Red Dead Redemption 2. You know there's going to be some crazy cameos in that game. Probably some characters returning somehow from GTA 5. I don't know how they're going to pull that off. Maybe that's why they're putting in all the time travel um, Easter eggs in. They're kind of setting us up. They're like, all right, guys, we're telling you about time travel. So these guys can come back into Red Dead Redemption 2. But they, will, Omega. they will have to make come back some people. As we said with Omega, something is missing. Even if, as, as we said also the last time, Robin had a discussion with the, the voice actor mm -hmm. and he said he didn't record some sentence. He, he said he was not under an NDA, but I don't know. I still guess that those people have to be under an NDA. They are not allowed to talk. Is that what we said also earlier? Is that why maybe Ned Luke don't help us more with clue or some stuff because as we yeah. said Ned Luke he knows something for sure because uh, as you point Ned Luke like Franklin like Trevor if something is that they record the scene even if they didn't talk they record everything so they know something yeah we were talking about that even if they didn't record any dialogue they probably had to do some sort of motion capture especially if they're flying in a freaking jetpack i do have a, a kind of a theory on why maybe the omega actor wouldn't know i'm thinking maybe there's a chance that omega's in the game we just don't know it and that is because he is he has time traveled and perhaps he's even back in his younger state so if you see anybody that looks like a younger version of omega definitely let us know I do think Ned, Luke, and all those guys, possibly the uh, voice actor for Omega, they would know something just based upon all of the things they had to do, despite, you know, even without voice acting, just motion capturing, even knowing the storylines, you know, I'm sure they're given a script and all that. That's why these guys know something. Could be the case that he's in the game right now. Um, I haven't seen anybody that quite looks like him, so I don't think so. I'm guessing he's probably going to return with this alien egg somehow and this crashed UFO. But that's just a theory. you got to admit, though, yeah. with this wrecked UFO, um, man, and I know we're just associating with an Omega. It's just you can't help it, right, with the spaceship parts. And, of course, he told us the story about how he was abducted. He escaped from the UFO and it crashed. So that is why we cannot help but link Omega to this. But I just have a feeling that he's somehow associated, especially because of what he's told us before. He's linked with, with Alien. That's for sure. He's, associ he's associated with Alien. Omega is for sure have something to do with Alien. Don't you think, though, with the, the amount of detail that's went into this UFO, it just has to be used. There's too much detail. I feel, I feel like some of this other stuff... Maybe it is a little bit lacking, so you can you can be like, okay, maybe they weren't going to use it because it's clearly not finished. But with this new UFO, there's sparks coming out of it, the smoke. Even yeah, the this. other one, I was sure they're going to use it. The, I mean, the normal ship. Why they will have a UFO inside a code file if they don't have any, yeah, if they don't have in mind to use it? They they wouldn't do that. It's it's useless. I thought because... that as well. Too many. Since they had that UFO, I always think they have to they have to use it one moment or another, even if it's just maybe for adversary mode. But they have to use it. But here with the with the last ha with the last ad, it's clear this is not adversary mode because you have the normal ship, you have and in the new files now you have the missile and you have the damage ship, meaning you will have to you will have to see. The normal one and then you will have to see it damage you have to well, see that could be it could be associated 
because we, you know, if we're going to blow this thing up, we're going to need some high-powered weapons. So it could be associated with the the bunkers and the researchers. Yeah. I know there's some people speculating that it could be leading us towards the research. We have to get platinum status. So if that's the case, then it would be online. I know that's one thing that Guru has been doing is trying to get his character up to platinum status, which would cost a lot of money if you want to do it faster, a lot of real world money. Yeah. Could be what it takes to actually see this thing. But nobody, nobody have done that yet. I mean, it takes a long time. It's too early. Yeah. For those of you guys who aren't aware, um, the 4th of July is Independence Day in the U.S., which is mainly linked up to a movie called Independence Day, yeah. where they blow up some UFOs. So it would make perfect sense to do it then if Rockstar wants to make a movie reference. All of a sudden, a huge thunderstorm has just erupted outside of Trippy HQ. A lightning bolt just struck, turning off the power for what felt like five minutes. But it says it's still recording, so if you can hear this, that means I do not have to record the entire video all over again. Thanks again for joining up, guys. Definitely stop by to GMNE's channel. Show them love. Say bonjour. Do not forget to stop by the 4th of July Chiliad Mystery Livestream. It's definitely going to be epic. Thanks again, guys. I'll catch you in the live stream later on today as well. As always, make sure to stay motherfucking trippy, my friends.